Capricorn, September 2023. Namaste. I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your reading. How are you doing, my darlings? I'm sure all of you are fine, well loved, safe, and extremely happy. At least that is my intention for you. Now, Capricorn, before I even say anything to you, I want to ask you if you know where all your sign placements are. Just knowing your sun sign is not enough. Why do I say that? It's because you are a sum total of many elements. Your moon, your rising ascendant, your Venus. Who is your chart ruler? Saturn. Where is Saturn in your chart? So just knowing your sun sign and watching that reading is not giving you all the answers, all the clarity that you need to get from a tarot card reading. I suggest that you find out where these sign placements are. And it's extremely easy. I'm going to put links to two websites I trust. You can calculate your chart there for free and then come back to my channel and watch all those sign readings and you'll be astounded. And I kid you not, you will get all your answers. Now, for example, when I'm struggling with anything which is about money, Okay, or any feminine figures in my life or people who channel a lot of feminine energy. I watch where my Venus is. She sits in Sagittarius. I watch the Sag readings and lo and behold, I start to understanding why something is happening. And more importantly, it gives me clarity on how I could navigate forward without harming myself or as in by reducing my damages and moving forward in a certain situation. You need to find out where your sign placements are. Come back to my channel. Watch all those sign readings. What I'm struggling with, answer is there, okay? Universe doesn't torture you. I, I can give you a guarantee on that. Something is coming up. It is coming up to the light. To do what? To be faced and expelled. Now, I'm going to give you messages back to back. You take what's yours, leave the rest. And I request you to be open to believe and you shall receive. If this reading resonates with you, not every message here will. I want you to claim it 100%. No doubts, uh -uh, nothing. It's yours. Take it and run with it. Now, let's start. I want to start with this death first, okay? Capricorn, and this is for September 2023. Lots of messages are there. I can sense it already. Let's start with what this death wants to tell you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And your North and South Node, Rahu and Ketu. These are your destiny points in your chart. Tells you about your soul's journey. One minute. I don't want to drop my beautiful guardian angel. One card is gone and hit the light and the cameras also. Excellent. Action. Now, you are worth it. You know, when this question comes up about self-worth issues, if it is a lower vibration where somebody super confident, it's Leo. It's a fire sign. If there is a damage in somebody's self-esteem, it could be Pisces energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or some of you are not feeling confidence. You know, I'm sensing some kind of a now if some of you are feeling not validated the universe is giving you a headset that you are worth it have you given your power away to someone else as in you know to give you that validation ticket that you're worth it you know capricorn which is my moon sign by the way we're ruled by saturn so hard work and that archetype of putting in the work due diligence comes naturally to most of us i'll say that but we get extremely uh, hell-bent on doing something to the T because the Saturn energy is you're okay doing the rounds of something till you perfect it. Now, I wonder if you've been trying to fix a situation or you've been trying to please someone. I'm sensing that. And that person is never happy. Perhaps it's a fellow Capricorn. I do not know. I just want to put that out there for you. Be spontaneous. Look, that's what I sensed. You are too caught in that boring routine. Do something different. And this be spontaneous energy is like the fool. This is Aries energy. The universe is telling you to do something different for a change. I don't care if it is dating different types of people. 
you have been doing the same old, the same old with an individual Capricorn and has got to a point where it's boring and you are sensing somebody pulling back. I feel this. Universe is asking you to do something totally crazy. Look, each of you know your situations. I'm not telling you to do something. I'm not asking you to do something completely crazy, but something different. You are stuck in that rigmarole. It's got boring a relationship. Empowerment. This is very much my Leo energy. And I, I want to tell you that you have this energy around you, which is going to augment your self-worth and it is going to increase the way you feel about yourself. But it starts with breaking routine. I don't know what this could mean for you. Perhaps some of you are stuck in a cycle of constantly dating people who do not give you that kind of a validation. And my heart goes out to you. It's difficult when you're stuck in that same cycle and you keep meeting the same kind of losers. I want to give you a heads up. You are worth it. And there is an energy where you can power yourself up. Please take it. Seek beauty. You know, when this card comes out of seeking something, I think of the hermit. And the hermit is the Virgo energy. It is about going within. It is about finding solitude and shining that light to guide other people as well as to shine it within your own heart. To see those little drawers, those little corridors that you've kept dark for a long time because it's too painful to look at it. But when you do, and I know somebody is hurting here today because perhaps you've never been given a validation that you're good enough. And I know your energy. You have diligently worked in relationships to keep it together, to not allow it to fragment, to keep situations cohesive. I know you've done it. And the universe is asking you to go within and to look at your past, to see what you've done. It's like that book that you open and see all the entries that you've made in a person's life or in your own life in terms of the people you've allowed to come in and sign on your heart. And you're going to find out that you've actually been a very beautiful person. You've been somebody who's very, I'm getting the word diligent in love. Seek beauty and that beauty is within you. Okay, Don't expect anybody else to give you a tag that you're worth it if you yourself believe that you're not. And I'm, I'm so sorry when I say it like that, but I tell that to myself a million times. Why are you expecting them to love you so much? Do you love yourself, a partner? And sometimes the answer is, hell, you know what? No, I got to fix that. I'm sensing that here for you. But I know there is power, empowerment, and a validation from the universe that you are worth it. Last but not least, be your best self always. There is a lot of energy here about self-worth issues. You know, I don't know if some of you have a lot of planets of consequence, your personal planets in Pisces, where you allow people to walk all over you. And then you feel like a victim because you feel used. You be your best self always. And when I see this seahorse, it's very lucky. So it's like a Sagittarius card. It's of extreme good luck. And I want to tell you, you be ready, looking your best, clothes on point, hair gel, slick back, whatever you do, because you do not know when you're out and about in your community, somebody might just come towards you. And at that time, you'll thank yourself that thank God I put in the effort to look good today. I'm sensing that. And this individual, I am sensing you're going to meet up with somebody who is the nemesis of the kind of people you've met so far. They are the nemesis of that. So I love this energy for you. Now, Capricorn, I'm going to shift gears. I am going to take some major arcana cards to tell you what are the zodiac signs that you could be dealing with in the month of September. Now, before I continue with that, I want to tell you that I post one dedicated reading for career, money, job opportunities, and one for relationships every week so that you are always on the forefront, on the cutting edge of the new energy coming in. These are two major sectors of our life, love and money. And I also post mini three card readings almost every day on a variety of, I'm going to say genres of our beautiful 
life. So do take a look at those playlists. Let's go. Let's see which are the zodiac signs that are coming towards you. And you know what I'm going to do, right, Capricorn? I'm going to give you another layer of knowledge on each. On each of these signs so that you can get a backstory on what they're about. So fool did come out. You know that be spontaneous. This is the card of Aries. This could be an Aries coming towards you. I will use Sagittarius. There we have Sagittarius card. It's a card of patience. Then I have the magician, the Virgo, Gemini, Axis, because uh, it's Mercury ruled. And then I have Scorpio, death and transformation. These are the signs that are coming towards you. Okay. I'm going to clarify each of these signs and I'm going to give you some kind of a story about them. And I'm going to use my Arcanum Tarot deck to clarify these energies for you. So starting with the Fool, the Aries, okay? This is somebody who um, is a risk taker. This Fool energy is risk taking. Somebody who does things on a whim. At any given point in time, they're ready to jump off a cliff. You know, it's like somebody who's crazy in love. They'll do anything. This is that energy. And you know, uh, Capricorn, what I'm sensing is that you are so different from this particular energy. It's making me smile because it's cute. You know, you are, you know, you're measured. Like, you know, you have somebody, people who measure those how many scoops. You are that. And this one is caution to the wind. I'll tell you more about this individual. Oh, boy. This person, you could meet them via drinking, going out partying. Uh, maybe they're the person who's laughing or cracking the jokes at a party. Because I'm just giving you some of the messages I'm receiving about this Aries. Um, I don't know if this person has a drinking problem. I also want to give you a heads up with this card coming out that this individual could be someone who has been put in third parties because I'm giving you their story. I just don't want them to put you in another one. Why did I say another one? Okay. Now, for others, I also want to tell you that this could be a card of reconciling with an Aries. Okay. Now, what else, Spirit? It's fun energy. You're going to meet them at a party, I'm telling you. Get ready. Seven of Cups. This person has a lot of water energy in their chart, which is emotions. Water is emotions. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, this person is, this is the Pisces energy. Seven of Cups is confusion. Listen, I want to tell you something, a heads up about this individual. They could be extremely confused. There is something about drinking with them, which you need to pay attention I also think that perhaps this person is not yet ready to settle down because the seven of cups energy is I want this and I want that. This is a person who loves to party. This is a party animal. You know, you may be attracted to them or they may be attracted to you, vice versa, because of the complete difference in your personalities. And at the six of cups, this is somebody coming back. This is a soulmate. This is an individual coming back from your past. You know this person. Perhaps you know them from the time you were young in school, in college. There's an age difference here. This person is being a fool today and taking a huge risk in coming towards you. I do not know if they were put in third parties by somebody in the past, but they've been very confused. They're coming towards you, wanting a reconciliation with you. The sweet energy, huh? Give them a, give them a hearing. Listen to them. Uh, Capricorn. Okay, but you know this individual and they're throwing caution to the wind. They may shock you by showing up. It's a sweet energy though. You have a lot of memories with them. This is definitely somebody coming back from your past. Beautiful energy. Let's talk about the Sagittarius. Now, with the card of patience, I don't know if this person is extremely patient or impatient. <laughs> now, in most decks, in this card of patience, we have Archangel Michael King. Okay? He's mixing elements that cannot be mixed. He's creating alchemy. So perhaps this is about divine timing because when he comes out, 
First of all, he's a keeper of soulmates. He helps you cut cords, okay? And the devil energy, which is our energy, because Capricorn is my moon, creates those toxic cords. <clears throat> so this is happening in divine timing. Archangel Michael is showing up here in this individual's life to show them something. Five of Wands. I don't know if this person feels that they are competing with somebody else and they've been patiently waiting. If I'm talking to somebody who was already dealing with another relationship, it may have been on the outs. I think this is somebody you confided in when you were breaking up with someone. I'm sensing this. And they've been patiently waiting. I hope they gave you good advice, Capricorn. They've been patiently waiting because they know they have competition today. Or now it's possible that this individual has been patiently waiting. But I think that they have been giving you some kind of, I'll tell you the word. The word is, um, I'm getting the Hindi word weirdly. It's giving you that uh, 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 advice, advice. That's the word. They've been giving you advice. Huh? How to deal with someone. While in their heart, they have been competing for your love. So I don't know why I'm sensing this. If this story doesn't, and it's sweet energy, okay? It's nothing, it's, it's not malicious, okay? Now, Capricorn, if that's not the case, then this individual is someone who's very competitive. They love to compete, you know? And with the fire energy, this could be somebody who's very arrogant and they know that they're the shit. I'm sorry for my language. They know they're the best. So competition doesn't scare them. It excites them. And I am sensing this person will not take no for an answer once, you know, it's like uh, once they want you, they want you. I'm sensing that. A lot of fire here. A lot. Then I had the moon energy. Uh, you know, coming up with the patience, which is fire. I have water again. This is cancer energy. This could be a single parent because there's a crab here. Cancer is ruled by the moon. This could be a single mother, somebody very caring, very nurturing. You know, this person has, I don't know why I feel you know them. This could be a foreigner as well. Uh, or maybe you have moved to a foreign country or a foreign location. This is somebody who's not alien, but alien from your culture or your way of eating, speaking, dress, culture. Now, I don't know if this person has a lot of fears to come towards you because they feel that you're still with somebody else or this person could have been recently a single parent. I don't know why I feel that. And they've patiently waited for either something to end. Maybe they were going through a lot of fights and conflicts in their relationship. Could be either of the two. But this is also somebody who could be very sensitive. Um... They could also have a lot of secrets in their life. You need to talk to them about it. And it could also be somebody for whom home, family, caring, nurturing, feeling loved is extremely important. There's, there's no doubt about it at all. At all. Okay. I'll take one more card on this individual. One more card on this spirit. One more card on this energy of the Sagittarius. They're stuck. You know, with the five of wands, which is unwanted competition, it can be necessary competition too, but I'm not sensing that. There are a lot of secrets here in this individual's life and which have kept them stuck. They've never opened their heart up. You know, it's like they've crossed it and they don't want to open it. This person also may be refusing to see something because they're scared that they, they don't, they're scared of the truth in their life. They don't want to see that truth. And if you notice the beauty of the reading, you see the moon here and you see this moon here. This individual is being shown something. They don't want to see it. They've kept their heart crossed and they've covered their eyes. But at any given point, this person can break free. You know, this person is a prisoner of their own weakness and their own fears. Take one more card of this person. There's a lot of mystery here and then it gets worse. I go directly to the nine of swords. This is extreme stress. Listen, I'm going to give you a heads up on this individual. They have some kind of an imbalance in their shasara, as in, I'm not talking about ego. It's some kind of mental stress or bipolar or some kind of a mental 
condition that makes them prone to be nervous or very stressed. Maybe they have sweaty palms or they can't think straight. There's something of that here. And you need to talk to them because they have some fears that they have not dealt with. This could even be subconscious fears that they have just kept within them. I'll take one more card. I'll take one more card. They've been stalking you. Page of Swords. They could have a child. Now this individual is stalking you. Because this is my card of stalking. This is my card of somebody being very childish in their communication. It's a page. Now pages are the youngest suits of the tarot. You know, I also wonder, like I told you, this person could be watching your social media to see if you're still with somebody else. And they've been giving you advice on how to deal with a certain person in your life. Now, this is also the card of somebody communicating in a very childish way or somebody not, sorry, somebody not, one moment, giving you the full truth, you know, half truths, delaying the truth from coming towards you. That This is all that energy. This is also somebody very childish, huh? I want to put that out to you as well. One moment, my chair just. Okay, I'll take one more card because there is there are a lot of layers, you know, to tarot. And as you keep clarifying the cards, the story unfolds. Look, this person is holding back information. I do not know if they have lost money today or they're a miser. This person is, has held back stuff from you. I, I just want to give you a heads up that this person, when they if when and if they come towards you and you sense this thing of they're not telling you everything, you are right, they are not. They are hiding a lot of things from you. You need to get them to open up their heart. Now, they could not, may not be opening up their heart because they're scared. I want to put that out as well. I also wonder if they have somebody stalking them. And that's why they're not opening up or they're holding back on a lot of information. This is not a good energy. This is of secrets and the moon is secrets. So this is the only negative side of this individual, but I think you know them. And they have been giving you some kind of a guidance, like I feel, for a certain relationship. Now let's go towards this Virgo and this Gemini. Mercury ruled the magician. Now the magician is manifestation one-on-one. -on -one. This person is manifesting you and vice versa. And I have the death card. It's a card of Scorpio. This person has unfortunately manifested some kind of an ending of a relationship in their life. They could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, now because this is the Virgo axis, this is the sixth house, it's about your open enemies. So perhaps they have found something out because Virgo energy is about going within Virgos are the Nancy Drews of the Zodiac. They have found something out, either by hiring a detective, I don't know, which has caused an ending. And with the Gemini energy, it is about communication. It is a head over heart decision. It is a lover's card. This individual has made a head over heart decision in their life to end a relationship. They have. It's like they pull the plug, cold turkey. I sense that. I sense that. My God. They're going to take a risk in love. And that's you. They're coming towards you. This fool energy, you know, be spontaneous. And the fool has come out again. They're coming towards you. Or coming, they, they, they want love. And they are pulling the plug on either an individual who has, I don't know why I feel, openly fooled them in their life. So they have dealt with someone who's been extremely cunning because of trickster, which is a low vibration of the magician, is somebody who's pulled it, who's pulled a fast one on them. They, they're pulling the plug on that relationship cold turkey and they're taking a leap of faith in love. And well, the universe supports them because they're going to find you. And I told you, you are diligent in love. That's the first message I got. I'm talking to Capricorn here. I mean, love is like their homework. You know, they fill in the blanks. They you've done everything. And yet you've had, you met losers. Well, there's somebody here. I think you're going to mirror each other and you're manifesting each other. This person is taking a huge risk in coming towards you. That's all I'll tell you about these two cards because interestingly, both these energies have shown up 
as to coming towards you, the card of transformation and the fool. Now let's talk about the Scorpio energy that is coming towards you. And I want to give you some clarity on the Scorpio as well. This is card you the Scorpio, please, Spirit. The High Priestess. Uh, you know, with the card of Scorpio and the High Priestess coming up, this person is definitely into the occult. They either are a big fan of astrology or tarot. Now, I hope this is not a hidden connection because the quintessential meaning of the High Priestess is the mistress or the extra mister. I need you to keep your eyes open for that. I don't want you to deal with somebody who is either... Um, in a third party or they're hiding something from you now the Scorpio energy is the eighth house it deals with the occult it also deals with black magic you see the occult can have a light and a shadow side we belong to the light but there are people who do the dark as well and with this I do not know if there's somebody who is very deeply entrenched in something dark look my hope and my wishes are that you come across people who are drenched with light but on our journey we will meet people who are dark so please watch that but this individual is definitely somebody who is okay with secretive relationships perhaps because they are still married check that out now with a kind of transformation perhaps they are ending something and they are transforming or maybe they were somebody who was very comfortable being in third party. It's a very weird energy. I want to put that out there for you. Of the Scorpio, okay? Give me one more card. It's a mother. It's an empress. Taurus energy. Now, this is somebody whose money is on point. Because if you know the eighth house in astrology is Scorpio and is ruled by Pluto. It's about big money. Okay, loans, inheritances, insurances. I do not know if this person is a single parent today and they've gone through an ending in their life. Either because they were a third party or they were put in a third party. But this is a mother, a business owner. This is the empress. She has a Midas touch. Whatever she touches turns to gold. Whether it's a business, whether it's she can make love, she can cook food, she can run a business, she can take care of children, she can do it all. Do it all. And the high priestess is telling me either somebody older to you, somebody who knows about the esoteric sciences, somebody who could have recently been in a third party, or I just don't want you to be taken in by her aura and, you know, find out if this person is already married is all I'll say. Okay. Now, let's shift gears. Let's move away from particular zodiac signs for a bit, go to something totally different. Let's take some cards from a mystic red rose oracle deck to give you clear-cut messages. Are you ready? Put these major arcana cards back. This is the deck, okay, Capricorn? Now, whatever zodiac signs are showing up loud, take the time and watch the readings on my channel, okay? You'll be surprised. How many messages you get one card just fell? Take one more card, please, Spirit. Capricorn, September 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and South Node. My God, backstabbing. Heartbreak, separation, loss, deception, and lies, a shocking attack. You know, when this word shock comes, it's very Uranian. It's like that electrical jolt, or it is the death card, the tower energy. Can you watch some of the Scorpio readings? Um, you know that message I gave you where somebody was giving you advice on how to deal with somebody else. I hope that they are not the ones doing this uh, as in giving you wrong advice so that they can jump in. I'm not sensing that though. This is somebody who's gone through this. I'll clarify this card. Then I have the death card again. Listen, please watch the Scorpio reading. This is about new beginnings. It's about transformation. Something is dying, yes, but it's not dead. It's pressing a pause on situations that sucked so that something new can take its place. You're making space for the new. This is somebody that you know, this unconditional love. This is my soulmate card. You know this person. You know, with all this pink and this childishness, you've spent 
a part of your childhood with them. This could be somebody who's coming back and I'm sensing this. It's like a fairness in love. There is affection here. This is a very sweet, innocent love. You know this person. Mm -hmm. I want to clarify this back stuff. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Prakant. Shown up in your own reading, my friends. Some of you have been, my God. And by the way, the card, the pomegranate, which is shown here, it's what the high priestess holds in her hand. It's, 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 it's about knowledge. She holds the scrolls. The high priestess is, is the mistress. You have been backstabbed in a karmic partnership. And when the devil energy comes in, which is your energy, it is about things that keep you chained and bound. So when you sign a contract, like you marry somebody. In India, we walk seven times around the sacred fire. Saturn has seven rings. We invite him to be a part of that, of that relationship. We sign the documents. We take vows. And then he tests you. He keeps you chained and bound because you've tied that contract. You've written, you've signed. And then you got to figure out really quick if it is karmic, as in there is a give and take and then you can bounce. Or if it is dharmic, where there is give and take, there will be. But how do you come out of it? Do you come out of it stronger or do you come out of it depleted and feeling like this? Helpless, chained, bound, restricted, forced, not having any choice. This is very powerful. Somebody has been backstabbed in a very close relationship where the undertones are karma. There's a give and take here. Now, with a backstabbing, you, this is about trusting somebody because, you know, it's like et tu brutus where you go like you too. It's that energy. You know, you're shocked at so how many people have backstabbed you. I'm sensing this. It's not just one person. And you were chained and bound like the devil keeps you because of monetized business, maybe status, children. I don't know. It's that. And 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 it's with the death card, which I'm going to clarify next. I'm glad it's coming to an end. Or this person could also have had some very toxic habits. It could be drinking, gambling, sexual addictions, perhaps putting you in third parties. Sometimes a third party is not an individual. It's a habit there yeah, that comes between you and a individual and ruins a relationship. Let me tell you. This is what it was for you. You thought it would be a cup of never-ending love, one that gives and gives. And there were tears of joy here when you connected with somebody. I think it just turned to tears of frustration. And this is somebody that you chose to give that whole cup to, not a little cup, the whole, your whole heart. And they betrayed you. And they did it in such a way that they knew you couldn't break free. It's, it's, it's very negative energy. I'm happy to see the death card here. The ending of this cycle. Clarify the death card for me. I'm sensing you were betrayed by a whole family. I don't know why. I don't think it's one person. Yeah. You're putting an end to this repetition. You're bearing this. Because you're tired of repeating this with someone. This is a card of repetition. It's the eight of pentacles. It's a card of doing something over. It's the card of diligence. Capricorn, you've tried a million times to work this out with someone. You're putting the nail on that coffin. I think some of you have feel now you're back. You, you've been backstabbed by not one person, but by the whole family. And it's like they have betrayed you. And you're tired. And there's somebody in that family, I feel you trusted to help you with your marital situation. And they have just used that information and they have backstabbed you. You know, I'm sensing this and I'm going to title the reading something on these lines so that maximum people can get this message. I'm, I'm glad you're not going to work on this anymore because you remember the first message, go back to it. I said I'm talking to somebody who's, you know, for them, love is a homework where they write down, they draw the line, they put the, it's like that. That's how important a relationship, a marriage and working on love is for you. And you've met not just the individual, but their whole family that has backstabbed you. My heart goes out to you. 
But I want you to know this is being transformed. This way of doing things. And there's somebody brand new coming towards you who there's going to be a fairness in love. And you're going to stop working on this because you're tired. And look at the pentacles of you've created. This person was never happy with you. It doesn't, didn't matter what you did. That's why that card of self-worth comes out. Where they, they demolished your self-worth, but here you are diligently working on it. Very sad. I, I, and you know, give me no joy to report this, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm getting because I don't want to miss a message. I don't want to miss a thing. If you've heard that song. The chariot. Movement. Movement. I want you to know there is going to be movement. Now, this is about, this is the cancer energy. It's about the home. It's about the mother. This energy is very loud. You can watch some of the cancer readings too. There's going to be movement in this situation. Some of you are changing your locations. You're moving a home, you know, to a different home, to a different state, perhaps to a different country, or you're going towards a place which you call home. And you're going towards somebody who's extremely caring and nurturing. As you can see, when the charioteer gets on that chariot, he takes charge, holds those reins strongly, the dark and the light. And some of you, I've been chained by the devil. And unfortunately, when you keep meeting people of a lower vibration, they trigger that in you. You've taken charge of your shadow and your light. And you told yourself you're not going to walk around fragmented. You are going to emancipate them to em emancipate them together, your shadow, which it could be fears, and your light, which is a confidence. And the need to be in a relationship that is balanced. And to believe in yourself, you're taking charge and you're moving. This is a beautiful energy. There will be obstacles, you know that, but you're not scared. Some of you are leaving, moving, you're tired. And you're ending something and you're moving forward. Some of you could be single parents. But I can give you a guarantee. The next love of yours is one which is sweet, caring, nurturing, childish. Very different than the one, anything that you've experienced in your life so far. Now, what I want to do is I want to take some cards from my Lenormans and then I'll close out this reading by taking some of my own handwritten cards for you, okay? So I want to take my Gilded Reverie. Spirit, give me clear messages. Capricorn, September 2022. Okay. The maze. So what confusion or oh, there is a straight path to your goal. Somebody has made you go around that track. I'm telling you, somebody has put you on this merry-go-round of hell where you have to keep proving how good you are. And they were never happy. <clears throat> and you did your due diligence to make somebody happy. I'm sensing that. Or you were dealing with somebody who was mighty confused. I don't know if they're dealing with more people. And that's why they were, you know, in a, their mind space was cluttered. They didn't know what they wanted. You were always waiting there for them. But why were they dealing with so many people along the way? And what could have been a straight path to your heart? They made it long. And have the owls. This is a nocturnal bird. There's a moon there. It's about secrets. It's about wisdom. Owls made for life. I know I'm talking to somebody who was in a committed partnership. Or there were many things that were hidden from you. Now, in India, the owl always accompanies the goddess of wealth. I don't know if some of you have found out some secrets about money. I want to put this out there. Then I have the well. This is like my ace of cups, you know. It's a very deep connection you've had with somebody. Now, this connection could be something that goes back generations as your families knew each other. You know, it's like you had ties, you met each other socially. So it's like you you married the whole family, not just the person. I'm sensing that and the whole family betrayed you. And in that, there is one individual Capricorn. They took you into confidence to help you sort a problem. And they have done the exact opposite. And I want to give you a heads up on that. Okay. Forgive yourself. It's all right. You stood in your power, in your dharma, and that's what you shall reap. What they have sown, they shall. That's why karma is here. And you <laughs> are ruled by Saturn. He's a lot of time. Kronos, Lord Shani, nothing 
and no one can bypass him. Now, it's a very deep connection. It could be one that is gone back generations. It was one that was very fruitful. There were a lot of emotions because the well keeps giving you water for life, right? Generations. That's what you expected. You know, and somebody, I think, also hurt you very deeply. They went to your core. Like, you know, when you dig a well, you have to go to the Mother Earth's heart and dig and find water and find emotions. I think you tried your best to go to do somebody's heart and elicit a response or some kind of a response of emotions from them, but you failed. I'm sensing that. It's like the well was always dry. And for some of you, there have been a lot of tears. This is brand new energy coming towards you. Brand new. Sagittarius could be somebody who is different from you, could be living in a different part of the country, of the world, a traveler, a guru, a teacher, adventurous. They're coming towards you with a bouquet. This is like a new start. They want to offer you something. And I'll give you a negative side of this card. This could be flattery. There is an individual in somebody's family who has flattered you, who's taken you into confidence and has then stabbed you. I want to take a clarity, clarify, sorry, card on the maze. Okay. Split me one card on this maze, Capricorn. The moon. The moon. Listen, there have been a lot of secrets. If you wondered why somebody's confused, they are they have a lot of secrets, huh? And you know, I think. This confusion that they have caused. They're dealing with many people. I'm so sorry to say that. You know, perhaps you've wondered why it's taken so long to create this bond. Because there are many secrets here. There are many fears. Yeah, I don't know if this person has some mental issues. Because the word Luna and the word lunatic are derived from the moon. Luna is the moon. I think there's somebody with mental issues. And I've given you this message many a time. But there are a lot of secrets here you do not know half. And with the crab being here, these secrets are in a home. This could be the person who channels a lot of their feminine energy as well. I want to give you a heads up. Okay? Now, I'll take one more card on that and then I'll end your reading. You know, it's like I'm never satisfied, but I don't want to make the readings long because then it gets too, too many messages kind of make you feel like, ah, I can't understand. Ten of Pentacles. Listen, this is a committed partnership. I know this for a fact. Now, there are also a lot of secrets about a home, about property, because the moon rules cancer. And there's a crab on the sky and there's a home here and cancer is about the home. There are, there are people confusing you in a home and I'm telling you this, listen to this message again. And there's especially one individual who you, who took you into confidence to say, I will help you solve this issue in the, in, in, in this marriage. They are the ones who betrayed you. Now, there is also confusion and secrets about a home, property, money. There is confusion here or secrets. And I want you to gently find out those answers. Now, on the other hand, it could be a secret. But the universe is sending you this. Somebody with stability because you are earth. So is this earth energy, pentacles, who's going to give you a home, who's going to give you money, who's going to give you stability, who's going to want to create this wealth with you. Now, I'm going to end your reading, this deck aside, and I want to take some of my handwritten cards. I've called them my archangel cards. And these are just plain, uh, what is that? Plain cards. And I've written my message. Okay? So let's see what the universe wants to tell you for the month of September. And remember, it's just one month. Don't forget to check all your signs, readings, and especially watch the Scorpio one. This too shall pass. And I'll be here every month giving you guidance and every week giving you a heads up for love and career. And also check out my playlist for all different types of readings so that you get a quick message every single day. Wait. Don't rush. You know, there's a lot of confusion here. Do not rush. Wait. And if some of you have been wanting to rush towards someone, stop. This is the universe giving you that little red flag. Stop. Stop. It's that stop sign. 
hack cards, you are free, strip, rip, that blindfold, you know, that two of swords energy. Some of you are not willing to see something. The universe is asking you to rip out that blindfold and run. Pull the plug on something. They will catch you. They got you. Love it. Midas touch. New ideas. Empress. The empress has come out. I am talking to somebody who either is an extremely well-known businessman or businesswoman. They are a parent and they are older and they have gone through hell. <clears throat> I don't know why I feel you're somebody who's single today. You are being highlighted here. Or for some of you, somebody exactly in this energy is coming towards you who's a single parent. Job, boss, role, power. Listen, I'm not talking about career, but hey, claim it, man. It's coming towards you as well. There is somebody here who is extremely diligent, and they carry that aura of diligence that they put in their career to their love life. And it's not worked for them. You know, it's like you're a boss at your workplace and you're so good. But when you, in your love life, it's like you suck. And it's affected you all your life. But I'm giving you a heads up. The universe is telling you, you are worth it and you're going to be powered up. With the right person coming towards you. But you got to first hack and rip those cards. And if the devil keeps you chained, he restricts you, he binds you. Archangel Michael is here. He's shown up with the patience card, the temperance card. And he is in charge of soulmates. And his speciality is to cut cards. And he says, you run. Remove that blindfold. I will catch you. This is about divine timing and divine protection, please listen to this message again. There are small messages and nuances, and I do not want you to miss a thing. I just want to tell you, Capricorn, this too shall pass. I'm going to be here to guide you every single month. I'm very grateful for your comments, for the beautiful energy that you send me back, and I'm sending it right back to you, doubled and tripled, from my Anahata to your Anahata Capricorn. I love you. Namaste. Bye-bye.